What's up YouTube? Fired Up Trucker here. Fired Up Trucker here. Whoo! It's after 10 p.m. a couple minutes on... God, what is today? It's Monday, 6, 7, 8th I think? The 8th of June. Had my first city training uh day cab driving day to day with my uh, day cab training city trainer guy <laughs> I don't know how to say it it's uh anyway anyway the guy that night that uh, Ian at night put me uh, with this week to get some city driving just to get out and get comfortable on the road it's a it's a day cab truck it's a really nice truck but it's an automatic, excuse me. Uh, met him at 4.30 in the morning. Uh, truck finally got there from the guy the night before. I think by the time we finally headed over to where the first pickups uh, was, is probably somewhere between 6 and 7. I don't know. Anyway, a uh, couple things about it. Enjoyed all the driving. Uh, Terry is an excellent trainer. He used to be an over-the-road trainer. And uh, could I do his job instead of doing like more highway driving or over-the-road driving? I really don't know. I think if I was as smooth and I had the years in and I could back into every position like one, two tries, one back up, or, I mean one pull up or whatever. I mean, this guy is so smooth. And, and look, I just came out of uh, night CDL school in Memphis, Olive Branch, uh, two weeks ago or just over a week ago. And, you know, you can only do so much while you're there. Uh, it's a setup driving range. Uh, you know, when you're out, let me tell you, <laughs> when you're out in the real world, uh, like the guys I've been talking to tell me, they're like, you won't news none of that stuff. You know, it's kind of like algebra, geometry, trig, whatever, you know, in high school, college, whatever, you know, unless someone, you know that you learn those things for a reason because they're going to help you decision make and figure out how to take care of situations that you may get into when you're out there. Uh, and right off the bat, like when Terry pulls up to the very first place, Basically, he's doing a, a maneuver that we never even used, never even went over in uh, uh, CDL school at night, which was like a 45-degree uh, alley dock. We did a 90-degree where you're basically parallel to the dock and you you go in. Uh, but the 45 is what is mostly used out there in these uh, places. I mean, and it's totally, totally different doing doing this when you've got other trucks coming in going out you're backing in between trailers and trucks or beside one truck or beside one trailer or two trailers you got cars parked over here in front of you there's people coming i mean it's a lot to take in it was very in the beginning it was very stressful i had to teach myself to breathe and just relax and uh you know, and, you know, tell you the truth. Terry got frustrated with me. I got frustrated with myself. I got frustrated with Terry. But in the end, it all worked out. And anyway, I'm going to be with Terry all week long if I last. Uh, it's a blessing to be able to have the opportunity to spend with him uh, before I go take my CDL test next Wednesday and before I go out on the road with my over-the-road trainer. I mean, I feel like I'm going to be way ahead of the game. I mean, I'm getting a full weekend with this guy and we're just running between these two places, picking up loaded trailers, dropping off loaded trailers, picking up empty trailers, you know, and going back and forth in this day cab. It's about a 20 mile round trip or something uh, over in Grapevine, Texas, Grand Prairie, Texas, wherever, that that general area. But, uh, you know, so anyway, it was a good experience, a long day. This guy works from Dust till dawn. I mean, uh, dun, 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 dawn till dusk. Would that be right? Uh, anyway, you know, 4.30 in the morning until 4.35, 6 o'clock at night sometimes. So, 
Anyway, he puts in the hours, and uh, he works five days a week uh, when he started doing the position. His experience, I believe he started and went to uh, CR England school, and he was a lease uh, operator with CR England. Then he left, and then he went to Knight, went over the road with Knight, and now he's doing this uh, day job, likes it, likes being home every night, Monday through Friday, off the weekends now. So uh, anyway... It's a lot of work. I learned a lot. I did things today that I hadn't done yet, like couple and uncouple trailers and back up under the trailers and pull out of the trailers and crank a trailer down and hook up the glad hands and the electric lines and open the doors. Uh, what are the deals like? The seals? I don't. They don't call them the seals. What? Are, whatever you know. The deal with the numbers on it that they put uh, that you basically seal the trailer with. So when you get to your receiver. Uh, they'll accept it because a lot of them won't accept it if it's not sealed or whatever they call it but and then I, it's kind of funny because we put them on and they don't really see it they give it to us but then when we take it off they don't see us take it off either but we take it off we throw it inside the door and then we back up to we open the doors we back up to the dock and then when they do their thing they reach down they match the number to the paperwork and then they throw it to the side but they're not there when you open it so that's that's the funny thing. So how do they know you even put it on in the first place? I don't know. Maybe a flaw in the system. But anyway, learned a lot. Uh, you know, I mean, I need to get my butt up at 3 o'clock. I might sleep in a little bit longer. 3.15, 3.30, because I left right at a quarter to 4, and I got there about 20 minutes after 4. So I know I don't need to be there early, I, you know. To impress anybody or anything so you know i just plan on being there at 4 30 so i'll take it a little bit slower in the morning but still need to get to bed anyway try and do a video every day uh if i learn anything new anything new happens uh terry's great it's a blessing to be able to go with him this week it's going to be hard work i mean you know it's getting up early but i'll be off the weekend and then uh what else next week's the cdl test so that's the next thing to accomplish. Actually, the thing to accomplish is going through this with Terry this week, and then the second thing will be CDL next Wednesday. So anyway, that's it. Stay fired up, stay focused, stay free. Make sure you get down below, comment, like the videos if you like the video, share them if you get value out of them. Come over to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Find me on Facebook, Jim W. Hammonds, my profile page, and come over to Fired Up Truckers. Join Fired Up Truckers on Facebook. And hey... The YouTube channel's growing. We're up to 14 subscribers. 14. It's like doubled in the last week. Over 500 views. <laughs> it's starting. It's starting, you know, compared to the guys that got thousands of subscribers and millions of views. Uh, we're just getting it going. But it's fun because the last week, people have been finding it. The key is keep doing the videos. Keep adding value to others. People will share them. People will tell other people about you. They'll say, oh, I seen this guy do a video on day cabbing. I seen a guy do a video on, uh, you know, how to study your CDL book. And people, you know, and th if that's what you want to do, I mean, that's just what I enjoy doing. So just helping anybody that may be wanting to get into it and go through the process also. So anyway, see you on the next video. Fired up.